Well guys, we're in London. And then we're going to meet Gabby. Um, I'm here because of her, she's getting married. So, full level of excitement right now. And I'm gonna pretend like I'm not running across the street when I shouldn't be. I'm going to see her, we're gonna have drinks. I think I'm like one of the first few guests to show up. And I'm so excited, I'm incredibly tired, but all worth the adventure right in true style there she is hi <laughs> Okay, so I know last night I didn't show you guys where we were having dinner, but good for you. The whole reception dinner is there and like a bunch of stuff for the wedding. So we're gonna see that again. It was a really, really cute place. You guys definitely don't wanna miss it if you come here. But now we're in Hyde Park. They're petting somebody else's dog, but uh, this is like super beautiful and it's actually super nice right now, which is not the experience I had last time, so. I'm very, very thankful that it's warm and we're just kind of do some touristy things. We went to Buckingham Palace and uh, I didn't take any video because I forgot, but <laughs> it's a really cool spot. I'll try and like insert some video here from the last time I was here and yeah, just some touristy stuff and I'll let you guys know more of what I'm doing when I get to it, but I really have no idea. I didn't plan anything for this part of my trip because it's mostly wedding stuff, so we're winging it. <laughs> you can hear me I'm taking a quick walking break and there's like a million people around me but I'm currently looking at the Big Ben the last time I was here I could see the teeniest sliver of like one side of the face of it and right now I can see a whole face of it and I'm very excited and I'm gonna walk over to it and see if I can get a little bit of a closer look and as you can see right there I'm standing next to the London Eye which is also something really epic that if you haven't done it and you need it and you're visiting London, you need to do it. It's like the view from the top is crazy. And I'm sure right now because of the pandemic, it looks like they have less people in each pod. So definitely something that was worth it in my opinion. I'm just not going to do it again because I've already done it and I'm trying to save money for other things. London's pretty cool, you guys. I'm having a good time. It feels kind of weird to be doing it solo and to not be doing so many touristy things, but it's also kind of cool to see everything again. So let's go check out the big Ben. You can see the whole thing face of that one right there. The whole one. Last time I was here, just a sliver. Heck yeah. This is the best cocktail I've ever had in my life. I gotta figure out what's in that. Well, this one came promptly on time and I didn't get a video of it the way I wanted to, but it's fine. This is a Pins. Um, I don't know what Pins is, but it's Pims mixed with lemonade and some fresh fruit. I don't know, it's very freaking delicious. It's like the best cocktail I've ever had. And I'm at this place called the Barbecue Club and I'm sitting along the water. The sun came out, baking it and soaking in it. It's so perfect. Um, but yeah, let me kind of show you where I'm sitting. So this area is called South Bend and there's like loads of shops and restaurants and like places to just have drinks and like I'm looking at there's like a skate park under here like under this like little ledge with a bunch of restaurants on top. There's like so many things I was walking by like book stands and it's just kind of popping. Um, I really enjoy it definitely a little touristy there's a lot of like street art and stuff. I don't know if you're even going to be able to hear me over this music but that's kind of the vibe of this whole place and I'm really really enjoying it um, and I'll hopefully be able to find you some more cool stuff along the way 
but yeah, for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my pins and we'll see what we get into next. Okay, so I just had dinner at that pho place that literally was in the last clip and I did it solo and it was amazing, it was fantastic. I don't know what it is about like eating and doing things by yourself, it's so liberating. But aside from that, that pho place, I'm gonna put like the name or the link, I because I feel like it's just called pho, but it could be very wrong, uh, is in Chiswick, which is like a little suburb neighborhood town of London, which is where I'm staying. And I thought it was so good. The flavor was delicious. I got the hot and spicy. It wasn't very hot and spicy, but it was good. And they provided like little chili peppers and stuff and like sriracha. So you were able to make it spicier. Um, but I thought it was delicious. So definitely a place I can recommend. And now I'm going back to my hotel. Speaking of hotel and this wonderful lighting that they always provide, I figured I would show you the hotel that I'm staying at. It's not like super, super cheap, but it's not super, super expensive. It's just closest to like where I needed to be for Gabby's wedding. So I'm gonna show you that really quick. And we, I will be switching rooms because at one point another bridesmaid is coming to join me. But this is like a single room, like the cheapest option they had. And it's perfect for me, I'm loving it. Also, there's a little bit of a mess. So brace yourself, obviously door here. And then this is like my little single bed and into the bathroom. This is it. It's like the perfect little, it's exactly, exactly what I needed. And there's like a little closet space, TV, all that good stuff. And I do have a really cute view, which I will show you tomorrow. Okay, so where should you stay when you come here? If you want super, super treat, cheap and like a potentially really quick trip with a lot of commuti commuting time, you're gonna wanna be out by the airport. Super, super cheap. I originally booked there and then I changed my mind because heck no, I didn't wanna spend two hours a day commuting each way to get to and from my hotel. So um, keep that in mind. And then if you stay in areas closer to the city, so I'm staying in Chiswick, I'm paying about $90 a night for a small like single twin bedroom. Um, it's perfect for what I need and it's like right next to the subway so I don't have any issues getting anywhere and I'm not spending extra money on an actual train to get to my hotel which is what you have to do to get out to the places by the airport. And then um, obviously if you go further into the city it's way more convenient. It just kind of depends on what you're trying to do. I need to be out here in the suburbs area a little bit closer to my friends for everything that I'm doing on this trip but there are other options and I'm sure the hostels are really great too. I just haven't looked into those at all either but yeah, keep all of those things in mind and you'll have an awesome trip here. Woo! Okay, so ignore this really awful lighting. It's the best I have right now. Maybe this will help. So Gabby, her parents, her niece, Amir, his brother, his sister-in-law, and I all went out to dinner tonight at this place called flat iron i can't really tell you what neighborhood it is in because i don't really know but i'll put it on the screen right here for you if i can figure it out um i am going to tell you this with absolute and utter in my soul full belly not dying absolution <laughs> this is like the best steak restaurant experience i have ever had in london I ordered the steak, it was 12 pounds. They have two things on the menu, the steak and the cheeseburger. And then they have like five or six sides. And we ordered, like Gabby and her mom and I all ordered the steak. It was so good. I got the peppercorn sauce and it was delicious. And I am like an A1 addict, an A1 addict. I'm so faithful to my A1. And this peppercorn stuff was so good. And it was so good, you guys. It was delicious. And the sides. So we tried the bone marrow garlic mashed potatoes. We tried the spinach side. We tried the eggplant side and the french fries. And everything was like so perfectly delicious. Like I literally had zero complaints. And Gabby and I got the um, sp like spiced red wine. So good. Literally everything was good. I, I cannot recommend this place enough. I... I'm so happy Gabby brought us there. I I have nothing but to say if you come to London and you don't go there, you didn't come to London. Like, that's where I'm at in life. Like, you just have to go. 
Today, I also checked out the Selfridges, Selfridges Small. Um, I don't know if I've ever felt more overwhelmed about bougie things or like the, like the massive size of a mall. It was so big. The only other comparison I have is uh, Harrods, which was the last time I went here. Just so big, like it's so easy to get lost. There's so much stuff going on, so many floors, so many people, like all of the above. So if you're in shop into shopping, that is definitely the place to go. It's on Oxford Street. There's so many places to shop on that street on top of this huge like mall type department store thing. It, it's not like a traditional mall or what I would call a mall from like the US. Um, it's probably more like a department store, but so many things. It was really neat. I'm just like not really super into shopping at the current point in my life, but definitely a lot of cute stuff. Like if I had money and cared about shopping right now, um, I totally would be all over that, but it's just not my thing. So if you're into shopping, definitely check that out. I went to a juice place also called Joe and the Juice. Um, I got something called a sports drink, um, which I'm sure is meant for like after you work out or something like that, which I did not, but technically I ran all over the city today, like by speed walking. So I'm going to count it. Uh, I thought it was really good and it was just like a cute little place to uh, wait for everybody to come for dinner and I thought it was delicious. So just add that to the list if you're going to come here if you pass by one. It's kind of a good, it's a good place. I would suggest it. Maybe not like a 10 out of 10, but like a, a 7 out of 10. <laughs>